Hello guys, good afternoon and welcome back to BS2PCG Deck Porter. For today, we're going to discuss another deck deck courtesy of our friends from FHP BS2PCG Philippines. And for this particular edition, we're going to focus our deck building on a particular main character that is taken from the Hammer expansion. And of course, Hammer is one of the three arts of the Children of the Atom, which was released, uh, I think, a year ago. And we are now building a deck using one of their powerhouses, and this is Mimic. For this particular deck, we're going to try to focus on building a deck that okay, revolves around Mimic as the main character. And in case you are not aware, Mimic has one particular power set and this is called Absorption History. And he was so powerful that uh, the collective and even upper deck was forced to uh, put an errata on him by limiting the available main characters for Mimic's Absorption History. And from all the available main characters, it was just limited to the original X-Men team. Uh, the original X-Men team, of course, consists of Professor X, Cyclops, Beast, Iceman, Angel, and Jean Grey. So I think uh, you now have a hint of what are the available main characters that are, uh, were used for this particular deck. And please do try to stick around by the end of the video because we're going to try to see if we have a winner in an ongoing online contest that is being played now at FHP BS2 PCG Philippines Facebook page. So guys, this is BS2 PCG Deck Forger and this is the Mimic Quick Kill. Continuing on with our discussion, now we present to you what are the supporting characters and all the other plot twists and locations that are included in our Mimic Quick Kill. So we'll try to open up this deck box and find out what's inside. As you can see here, we have blank text boxes for our level 3 Mimic and we will try to discuss them one at a time so that you will have a particular idea on how Mimic works. So Mimic consists of three levels for your main character and his particular level 1 character is a 2 attack, 2 defense with 4 health and he has checkered pass so you start the game with an absorption history so to explain further what is absorption history absorption history okay lets you have at least three different main characters in your absorption pile and so once okay you start the game okay you have one level one one level two and one level three absorption pile for example you have one level one let's say you have one level one dutch you have one level two rogue and one level three let's say galactus okay and when you reach a particular level for this character it lets you okay gain the keyword and superpowers of that particular main character in your absorption pile but also since this particular power okay was so powerful that okay upper deck okay were decided to put an errata on mimic limiting his number of available characters or main characters in his absorption pile so to be exact they just limited it to the, the original x-men team 
okay, so that it can also be, okay, in flavor with his comic history. And for this particular uh, set, of course, we only have six of the original X-Men team members. And those, okay, are Professor X, Angel, Beast, Cyclops, Iceman, and Jean Grey. So, for this particular deck deck, we have decided to stick with the errata and use only characters from the original X-Men team. So, they can be from the X-Men team affiliation or they can also be from the Mutant Resistance team. Okay, so besides Checkered Pass, Mimic is power hungry. So, meaning he needs 6 XP in order to level up and he can gain an XP when another character appears. So when Mimic gains enough XP, he now transforms to level 2. So for level 2, still he has that level 2 absorption history power and at the same time still has power thirsty. So now he needs just 5 XP in order to level up. So again, when another character appears, Mimic gains an XP. By the way, his level 2 stats are 4 attack and 4 defense but still he has only around 4 health. And when he is able to gain enough XP from Power Thirsty, he now transforms to his final form, his level 3, okay, at 6 attack and 6 defense. Uh, as you can see here that, of course, he has a little bit of a blank space here for his text box but it's just because uh, still he gains whatever level 3 powers of course his absorption history main character has and for this particular instance we will not reveal yet who are the 3 main characters in his absorption history pile until by the end of this video wherein we're going to try to discuss how Mimic Quick Kill works. Okay, so now we have, we go to our main, cap, uh, uh, main cast, the supporting characters. So as you can see here, we have four copies of Was as one of our early one drops. And Was is important here because she can provide you with that needed flight wall to help prevent, okay, any possible stun for Mimic. As you can see, the level 1 Mimic is around 2 attack and 2 defense only and he's just around 4 health so he's very susceptible to being attacked and being stunned. So Vaz is a 1, okay, 1 drop A4 scatter with 1 attack and 2 defense and she has flight and 1 health. Uh, her sting is very important here because it can help okay, weaken any opposing character. So when Was appears, put a minus one minus one counter on an enemy character. And of course, uh, she has her shrink. So when Was gets attacked the first time each turn, you may cancel the combat. So actually Was is a good blocker because he, uh, she can fetch you two attackers to be canceled. Okay, all okay with just one drop of this character. Okay, and that is good enough in this particular deck. Also, going to our one drops, we have four copies of Madame Hydra, uh, Madame Mass. And Madame Mass is an A Force character. And she has, okay, two attack and two defense with one health and range. She has bio duplicate. So when you power up Madame Mass by discarding a card named Madame Mass, you may put the discarded card onto your side and Swarm, okay, you can have any number of Madam Mass on your side and this power can be turned off. Uh, Madam Mass is very strategic here because of course if you have multiple Madam Mass in your hand and as you can see with Mimic's Power Hungry, when another character appears, Mimic gains an XP. So notwithstanding that another character appears on your opponent's side, having a Mass around, let's say on the first drop, and you are able to power her up with another Madam Mass that puts Madam Mass in a situation wherein you have 
pre-attack, three defense for this original, uh, for the first Madam Mask. And then you can you are able to put this Madam Mask into your side. So that will again fetch you an additional XP for Mimi. So if you have another, ca uh, another card named Madam Mask in your hand, you can power up the first Madam Mask in play. Okay, then again, you can put again this Madam Mask onto your side so that will net you 3 xp for mimic going further we have also four copies of hydra soldier and as you can see uh where we are going at okay most of your characters here are winning one drops or two drops and in particular they have swarm so that you're able to put many of them into play all at the same time and Hydra Soldier is just one example of that. So Hydra Soldier is a one drop, okay, one attack, two defense, okay, Hydra character with one health. Also, he has Swarm, so you can have any number of this character on your side, and this power can't be turned off. And since Hydra Soldier is a soldier, so soldier, when this character appears, put minus one, minus one counters equal to the number of soldiers on your side onto an enemy supporting character so with this many one drops at least you can you are able to put mimic in a position wherein you can uh, generate that many xp in the fastest possible time in order to level him up and of course we also have four copies of hammer's own soldiers and these are the hammer enforcers so Hammer Enforcers, just like with Hydra Soldier, is a one drop Hydra supporting character uh, with two attack and one defense this time and one health and range. And he also has Swarm, so you can have any number of this character on your side and this power cannot be turned off. And as a soldier, of course, uh, when, this, when this character appears, put a minus one minus one counter equal to the number of soldiers on your side onto an enemy supporting character so again the synergy works well with uh, other cards in the deck like hydra soldier because of course it can help increase the minus one minus one counters that can penalize your opponent's characters in this particular instance we have also included four copies of black ant so we were deciding on whether to put ant-man or okay black ant into the game but again into this deck but again with his two health i think uh, black ant is a better option for mimic so black ant is at one one uh one drop okay he is a one attack one defense character he has shrink so when black ant gets attacked the first time each turn you may cancel the combat and he has also light model decoy so during the main phase you may pay one green power symbol to put three plus one plus one counters on black ant for each black ant supporting character in your ko pile so later on uh, uh he can be useful because he can grow big and what is more important here of course is his shrink ability since he has two health so you can get to use them again on the next turn if okay your opponent gets to stun black ant Okay, so going to the two drops, we have included four copies of Squirrel Girl. Okay, your favorite Squirrel Girl because, okay, let's go nuts. So, at two drop, she's an A-Force character with three attack and three defense and two health. And let's go get nuts is when Squirrel Girl appears, you may put a Monkey Joe token onto your side. And when Squirrel Girl recovers, you may put a Tippy Toe token onto your side so speaking about tippy toe and monkey joe of course these are your tokens that are included with the squirrel girl supporting character and of course monkey joe gives squirrel girl an additional plus zero attack plus two defense on her when okay uh, she's on your side and at the same time, Tipito gives Square Girl an additional plus two attack plus zero defense while she is on your side. So, in, uh, but what is more important here, of course, is the additional appearance of Monkey Joe and Tipito will again give 
you an additional XP for your Mimic. And that will help to level him up to level 2. And that's why we have included 4 copies of Square Girl in this particular deck. And going further, we also have 2 copies of Kane. Uh, just 2 copies because uh, we just need him to fetch that needed basic location. Uh, most especially the Academy and the Laboratory. So he's a 2-drop Weyland Yutani uh, team member with 3 attack and 1 defense and 1 health. And he has Explore. So when Kane appears, okay, rebuild cards from the top of your deck until you rebuild a basic location and put it into your hand and shuffle the rest of the rebuild cards into your deck. So we put him here so just because uh, sometimes you'll get a drought on those needed locations in order to affect uh, Mimic's uh, healing moves. So this uh, character, Kane, can help fetch you those needed academies and laboratories when you need them. Also we have four copies of Jessica Jones and Jessica Jones is here because she is one of your most reliable and staple uh, uh, flight wall blocker on the third drop and Jessica Jones is a 3 drop okay, defender supporting character with flight and 4 attack and 3 defense with 3 health and she is tough so when Jessica gets stunned you may uh, recover her and she still gains a wound but again she provides that uh, 3 Okay, three, an equivalent of three flying blockers for your main character. And besides, her psionic protection is very, uh, very helpful, okay? Because enemy players can't use those yellow uh, base superpowers once Jess Jessica Jones is face up. So we have put three copies of her because uh, we need to be very defensive on this particular deck. And going to the fourth drop, Okay, we have four copies of Goblin Queen. Okay, so you were surprised. So why do we have Goblin Queen again? Okay, uh, of course Goblin Queen saw much usage before in the original Thanos deck. But again, Goblin Queen can provide a very helpful power okay, for Mimic to, to help him level up. So uh, to explain further, Goblin Queen is a 4-drop A-Force character with 2 attack and 6 defense. With flight and one health, so she's a good blocker of flight wall also. But what is more important for her in this deck is her summon goblin. So during the main phase, you can pay a yellow power symbol to put the uh, demon goblin tokens into your front row until there are four on your side. So as you can see by now, okay, goblin pin will help you fetch those needed characters to appear in order to help mimic level up. So to explain this a little bit more, uh, once you are able to pay that yellow power symbol, okay, for summon goblins, then four goblin tokens will appear, okay, on your side to provide additional blockers, okay, to help protect your main characters, main character, and at the same time to, okay, help him gain those needed XP. Say okay, so that is an equivalent of four new characters that will appear and that is an equivalent of 4 XP for your Mimic. And one of the last of the supporting characters in our deck, of course we have 4 copies of Keys. And Keys is here because we need to convert some of those basic locations okay, in order for us to have Okay, a pay, uh, payment means a mode of payment to power up Mimic's uh, Absorption History superpowers. So Keys now is a 4-drop Praise character with 1 health and 4 attack and 6 defense. He has 2 weeks to learn his patience. So when Keys appear, appears, choose a character on your side and that character can use any power symbols to pay for its next superpower this turn. So... That is why Keys is very important in this deck because once you are uh, uh, left with let's say laboratories or let's say with uh, training grounds or even with uh, fortresses then you can convert those basic locations so that you are able to pay for Mimic's 
needed superpowers during the his level 2 and level 3 okay mode and to finish off any game that may go into overtime or what or what we, we can say that if your okay level 2 and level 3 powers doesn't really work well for you then you can go beat down on your opponent because we have two copies of Gilgamesh on your deck so Gilgamesh is an 8 drop Avengers supporting character with 16 attack and 16 defense and flight and 1 health and since he has eternal if Gilgamesh would leave play then you may put him into his older sign instead but again as an eternal he's very hard to get rid of but again you have okay you must not forget to mention his name because as an eternal he has a weakness so this is called the forgotten one and at the end of your turn if you didn't say Gilgamesh this turn he loses and can't gain eternal okay so you have to say Gilgamesh okay so don't forget the word Gilgamesh once you get to play him so now we are done with our supporting characters and we only have four copies of, uh, of a particular plot piece in the deck and of course this is build a better world and build up a better world is playable here because you have was and you have squirrel girl on your deck at the same time build a better world helps you flip back those needed ba uh, basic locations in order to pay for uh, mimics superpower so build a better world is a plot twist uh, from the eight force and during the main phase you may turn one of your face down resources face up it can also be done during combat and you can turn one of your face down okay basic locations face up so very powerful in this deck because uh, of course you need to uh, all those uh, superpowers in order to affect your queen, uh, killing blow to your opponent so we have only four of them but I think those are just what we need for this particular deck and going further we now go to the basic locations or, or going to the locations and for our basic lo uh, for our locations we only have a couple of them and of course one of the most important uh, locations here are your academies and we have four copies of them and this is uh, mostly used for the level 3 power of mimic Okay, so let's try to focus on that. So Academy is used most specially for its level 3 superpower. And for your level 2 superpower, we have two copies of four copies of laboratory. And later on we will reveal what this particular superpower is. So laboratory is here, we have four copies of them to help pay for Mimic's level 2 superpower. We have also decided to include four copies of a green uh, those green locations like Fortress. Uh, most especially because we need to use them for Mimic's power in conjunction with Keys two weeks to learn his pattern. And also, uh, Fortress here is uh, usable when it comes to Black Ant's okay, Life Model Decoy, wherein you can pay for his superpower using, using this particular basic location and finally of course we have four copies of hammer HQ because this is the wild location for minute so let's wrap this thing up okay what does the mimic quick kill deck do okay so a while ago, we tried to uh, explain that we will try to reveal during the last portion of this video uh, what are the main characters that were chosen for Mimic's particular absorption history pile. So, for Mimic's level 1, ta -da! we have chosen Professor X. Not much because uh, we have no other choice, but because of course, Professor X can provide that needed card search with his cere cere cerebro. 
But based on play testing uh, uh, so many times, it is seldom that we get to use this superpower because uh, normally we get to have what is needed in our hand. But if you get to use cere Cerebro, then I think it's very important for you to try to search, let's say, for that Goblin Queen or maybe a piece so that you can have it in on hand when turn 4 or 5 okay comes into work and of course mimic with professor x cerebro can also help you fetch additional cards so that you're able to play multiple supporting characters okay on your side all at the same time and to help generate that needed 6 xp quickly for mimic for our level 2 superpower of course okay we have chosen another X-Men, original X-Men team member for our level 2 Mimic and that is none other than Tanen Iceman okay so we have this Iceman here because okay besides the Ice Slide okay Iceman has Flight and Invade this turn but because of his Cryokinesis meaning with two power blue power symbol power symbols you get to freeze each enemy character so exhaust them and they cannot ready on their next turn so if you get to play this on turn 3 then you get to delay your opponent by one turn so that you're able to place okay properly place your goblin queen or keys in order to effect the level 3 power uh, uh, power up okay so when you get to level 3 so you are now okay going for your final move and of course our mimic for level 3 has chosen none other than okay the most powerful mutant of them all well that is according to me of course and that is of course Jean Grey Omega so Jean Grey Omega okay lets you use psychic firebird okay during the main phase for two yellow power symbol and you get to remove an enemy player's hand or deck from the game okay so let's try to again recap that so for example if i get to play mimic then my first turn much better if i have already a location like academy or let's say a laboratory in play then I get to, uh, to play, let's say, Awas on my first turn. Okay, so that's one XP already for, uh, for Mimic. If your opponent gets to play another, uh, his own supporting character at one drop, then that gives Mimic, okay, two XP. But besides that, of course, it can, uh, if you are able to play Madam Mask, then you are able to uh, to power her up then you can put another madam mass on your side then that that can generate at least 3 xp during your first turn now going to your second turn you have the option of playing another uh, pair of one drop characters like hammer and forcer or maybe let's say hydra soldier or if not okay you can also play square girl and of course monkey joe will appear on your side and that will again fetch you another okay 2 xp so now you're uh, up to 5 xp and so if your opponent gets to play another cat supporting character on his turn 2 then that will automatically okay level up mimic to level 2 if not then come your turn 3 and you are able to play another supporting character it's either one Jessica Jones so to provide to provide you with a three health flight wall blocker or let's say uh, one cane or three one drop characters that have swarm uh, together with black and then automatically okay it level up mimic to turn 2 but then again if you're able to position your hammer HQ or even your laboratory on turn 3 
then you get to use Iceman's cryokinesis power and for that all your opponent's characters will now freeze and that will delay him one turn before he can attack your mimic again okay now come turn four and this is normally where the good part comes of course if we have keys in play or let's say we have gob uh, goblin queen in play uh, or in hand then once you're able to drop goblin queen you get to pay the yellow superpower summon goblins then you are able to fetch or okay summon four demon goblin tokens into play and for that okay it can help okay level up mimic okay to level three and with this level three now psychic firebird will come online and if you already have okay an academy or another an extra hammer hq on your side or, or on your hand then it's time to release the psychic firebird if not then you can still stick around to around turn 5 wherein if you're able to drop keys then all your locations will now come online as generic and still be able to pay okay the psychic firebird okay so i think uh we have already uh discussed with you the gist of this particular deck and i've been trying to play with this uh in so many trials and so many uh, play testing and normally it ends the game at around the fourth fifth or sixth turn because once you're able to remove mostly the main deck of your opponent then it's already game over for him and until such time that uh, of course you can go to the eighth drop and really uh, play, be able to play your gilgamesh to ultimately okay destroy and ko your opponent so guys this is the mimic quick kill so actually the original mimic quick kill and so before we end this video of course we'd like to thank our sponsors fhp bs2 pcg philippines and we also like to thank our friends from treats for them that is www.treats number four them Dot com and you can visit their website or you can download the online shopping app at the Google Play Store and we also like to thank our friends from Forge Hobby Place Mr. Jed Libitario and Mr. Ogi Kura and Forge Hobby Place is where we regularly uh, have our tournaments and it is located at Unit B 3rd floor Velasquez Compound Naga Road, Punan Lupa 2, Las Piñas City, Philippines. And BS2PCG Deck Forger would also like to thank our friends from BS2PCG Collective, most especially from the build phase. And from uh, our friends Benjamin Brosin and of course Mr. Joe Vitelli. And all the gate guys at the BS2PCG Collective. Okay, by the way, uh, I would like also to take the opportunity to plug our Facebook page at FHP BS2 PCG Philippines. Uh, that is the official Facebook page where you can order your online, online, your BS2 PCG deck boxes and of course all singles that are available. And once again guys, this is BS2 PCG Deck Forger. So hopefully you have enjoyed our video on the mimic quick kill so try to check fhp bs2 pcg philippines uh, to find out who won our online contest and was able to guess of course the three main characters in mimics absorption history pile so in exact in exact order that is level one professor x level 2 Iceman and of course level 3 the Omega Jean Grey and this is your boy Mark Eom and once again thank you very much for watching 
BS2PCG Deck Forger.